Well, two weeks ago, we gave an update on Gilbert Bible Church and mentioned there would undoubtedly be more changes and that we would seek to communicate with you more frequently. And well, here we are. There's more changes and we're going to communicate with you. We have some exciting updates to share with you. For, first of all, Kyle Frazee was originally going to come to the church plant to lead student ministries and help with NGM, as well as serve other pastoral ways and take on other pastoral responsibilities. As things have progressed with the plant, Kyle has been having conversations with the elders regarding his desire to participate in this work in light of his family's season of life and his stage in his pastoral training. After much prayer and consideration walking with the elders, the Frazies have decided to stay at Grace Bible Church. In light of the Frazies' decision to stay, the elders have asked Kyle to lead student ministries and to remain on staff at Grace Bible Church in order to be freed up to do so. And Kyle has agreed. This is exciting. As you know, with the church plant, we've been aiming to fill holes that will be left in a way that allows Grace Bible Church to press forward with effective ministry. And Kyle filling this role is a huge, huge step forward in this direction. In filling a very significant need at Grace Bible Church, and the elders are confident that Kyle is exactly the right kind of man to enhance that ministry at Grace. And I'm currently working with Kyle to hand over those responsibilities. And for me, this is, this is really thrilling. I have, along with Julie, overseen that ministry for almost a decade. And we've poured out our lives in many ways from the first day where we showed up and there were five students to now when we come on Sunday nights and there's close to 70 regularly. And it's just so thrilling to think about handing that ministry off to somebody who's so gifted, so godly, and so eager to step in. And I'm just really confident that um, what that ministry has gained and been strengthened by, he will only enhance. And where it's lacked and needed to be moved forward, he's exactly the right kind of guy to do that at Grace Bible Church. So just so excited and thankful for that provision. Now, with Kyle not going with the church plant, the elders recognize that that leaves a significant hole in the pastoral needs of Gilbert Bible Church. And this is where you have to just marvel at the goodness and the provisions of God. Tyler Azeltine is a deacon of NGM at Grace Bible Church and has served in countless ways, including student ministries, small group, set up teardown, the music team, and many, many other ways. And everything Tyler does comes with a humble heart of service and pastoral care. And the elders going to Grace or to Gilbert Bible were already in discussion with each other and with Tyler about the ways that Tyler and Kendall would be serving at the church plant. And God's kindness in this process is so evident to reveal needs and to reveal provisions as the elders are currently discussing with Tyler and Kendall having Tyler step into an elder internship at Gilbert Bible Church and filling pastoral roles of leadership over ministries such as student ministries and NGM and other areas which he has a ton of experience in. He's served alongside of me in student ministries for years and years and small group as well. He was in my small group for years and years and then obviously being a deacon over NGM now. So we're working through those details with Tyler and Kendall, but both of them and the elders are so excited to move in this direction together. We know that changes can be difficult for many, especially where relationships and expectations are involved. In fact, with all of these changes, it's understandable if there's been a temptation to ask, oh my goodness, this is a lot of changes. Are things falling apart with the church plant? And I would actually say the opposite. This is God's divine provision, having things fall together to move us forward. And it's so encouraging to see what the Lord is doing. We said from the beginning, man plans his ways and the Lord directs his paths. And the Lord is clearly directing paths for this work in a wonderful way where we are confident that we'll only look back as we continue to walk this path that the Lord has for us and say, look what the Lord has done. He's faithful and he's good. There's one additional update this morning. I wanted to let you know that Scott Maxwell will be stepping into the music ministry and will be leading in a similar manner that Matt York and Sam Pagel have been. And this is also a huge answer to prayer and absolutely leaves the ministry in incredibly, uh, extremely capable hands. 
uh, Scott's pastoral care, his shepherd's heart, and his skill musically is just going to be a wonderful compliment to the team. And, and the, we're so grateful for his eagerness and willingness to serve in this area. For now, I'm still the elder overseeing the ministry, and this will transition to Smedley in the near future. But Matt and Scott will be transitioning into the primary band leaders for Sunday mornings. And you'll see Sam and me around serving over the next few months. However, this is very exciting and encouraging news also, as it allows us to continue to make significant steps towards the Gilbert Church plant. As always, feel free to reach out to any of the elders with questions or any ways that we can serve you in this process. We want to know and we want to be available to do so as we continue to pray and press forward towards this work. With those things in mind, uh, let's pray and thank the Lord. Father, we do thank you for your wonderful provisions and your kindness to us. How would we ever doubt you in light of what you have done for us in your son? Help us to entrust tomorrow to you and help us to be faithful before you today. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.